Hey Gemini, it's BMHP. So when I was getting into your energy, I heard that song. Every breath I take, every move I make, every single day, every single, I'll be watching you. Oh snap, Gemini, you might got a stalker. <laughs> Either way, let's go ahead and get some past, present, and future energy for you, Gemini. Uh, let's see what's going on with you and your person. Beloved, what's the energy you have for my Geminis, please? What's up with Gemini and their person? Thank you so much. Oh, naked. Lack of transparency. Hidden remorseful regret uh, something's coming up from someone's past to the surface of this connection I don't know why I'm getting that with this naked card but something's getting ready to come back from somebody's past and then we have awakening and when I say it's um something's getting ready to come back from somebody's past it's not so much of a person it's more or less something something from their past is being dug up it's like it's like it's time for i don't want to say karma but you know how everything in the dark comes to light type energy that's the energy i'm picking up at the um foundation nurture so either you were covering for this person or this person was covering for you. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I got this in your last reading where you're getting ready to let go of different people in your life. Some people that were leaves, some people that was branches, some people that was, you know, part of the, the, the tree. Either way, whoever, whoever in this last season of your life, um... Whoever was there, you might see either people starting to walk away from you or you starting to lose friends or you starting to cut people off or it's just this energy of, of growing and like the seasons changing as seasons change, leaves blow away and branches break off due to conditions and all kind of stuff. So that could be you and your person. And then we have sex. I wonder... I wonder if this is what's coming back to bite somebody in the ass. But let, let's see what's crowning. Oh my goodness. Nurture and Gaia. Nature and Gaia, I'm sorry. But forget all that. Remember that song I was just singing every single day? I'll be watching you. This is this person got their eye on you, Gemini. Damn. Like, wow. Like, literally. And in the near future, transformation. I hope this person isn't trying to come back, act like they changed and just got this fake energy with this mask kind of being on, you know? Maybe they did go through a transformation because this is a, um, of course, this is a butterfly, but I'm afraid because of that mask that she got on. Why wouldn't she just come as herself? You know, why Why would this person be coming with a mask on? Maybe because they're still trying to hide this, whatever this nakedness is that's coming up. But let's see here. Let's go ahead and jump into the tarot and see what's going on with you and your person, Gemini. Because, yeah, there are some people leaving your life, Gemini. And trust the process that it's time. Everybody can go with you where you're going and you can take everybody. I don't care if you've known people 20 years. Does they does that mean you uh, they're supposed to ride out with you your entire lifetime? I mean, if you got 20 years, 25 years in with a person in a relationship or a friendship or a partnership, business, whatever, you did damn good. That's something to be proud of. But it don't mean they supposed to go the last the next 25 years where you going, you know? But let's see here. What's up with Gemini and their person, please? Thank you. What is this? The page of swords and the page of, of, of wands? Kids? Okay. All right. Cool.
this person, Gemini. The reason why I just said that whole spill about 25 years or whatever, whatever, this is how long you can have known this person. Right? It's like, um, you guys can know each other since y'all was kids or playmates in, 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 in preschool or in high school or something like that. Like, you could have just known this person long enough to have grown a bit older with this person. You know? But branches. This person would be considered like a branch in your life. You know, these they they come and go. They they um they come for seasons. You know, maybe they here for a year or two. You know, maybe shit a, a season like spring, summer. Maybe a season like that. But I feel like this person was a branch. This was somebody that was in your life for a while. You guys probably started at the same place, but it's like I don't know. I don't know if the time had came for something to change in this connection. Because someone was always more analytical than the other person. The other person was like uh, that Cindy Lauper song. Oh, girls, just want to have fun. Oh, girls, just want to have fun. So while somebody was having fun, somebody could have been taking care of their business. But let's go ahead. Let's go and see what's going on. But that's what's at the foundation. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, uh. The Ten of Swords and the Six of Wands. What the hell did this person manifest? See, that's that sex. That's that energy. Remember, I was saying with this naked card, something's coming back up or coming back from the past. From the past. Ooh -wee. I don't know whose energy this is, but whoever was this person that felt like, I feel like it was this page of Taurus energy. So you could have been dealing with the Aquarius, uh, um, Libra, a Gemini. But um, whoever this was that liked to be in the streets and liked to um, have a lot of friends, have a lot of people around them, family members, um, hoes bros you know this this is that person and whatever this person was out doing they manifested something that they weren't expecting in their life and it's like i don't know if they had a lot of fake ass friends around them that didn't tell them hey you know that that that's not right right there i'm not you know what are you doing you know because look it's, look at the energies who energy is this? Is wait, hold up. Is this your energy, Gemini? And this is your person energy, a fire sign? Because one thing about you, you always get a fire sign in your damn reading and, and these synchronicities is crazy. Like a progressive energy. Here's the air sign, here's the fire sign. I'm just saying. But um take it take it how it applies. But whoever energy this is, definitely this is how the other person felt about it. Or this is this is what brought this relationship down to his knees. This person action did this to that person. And I'm not saying it's you, Gemini. But I'm just saying, whoever energy that is. Whatever sexual energy. <laughs> they messed with the wrong one. That's all I'm going to say about that energy. This person messed with the wrong. Oh, yep, yep, yep. If it is in love, why do I feel this way? Mm-hmm. So they chose. They chose sex over love. Right? And this naked energy. Like that one is on fire. This person, I'm telling you. Okay, Gemini. I don't know if they got um, the cooties. But they definitely got something. That's messing with this wand right here. Okay? And I know I said cooties. I don't know where I got that from. Maybe because that energy is present. I don't know where cooties came from. It's just the craziest thing to come up in the reading. But, um, this person chose sex over love. They chose passion over true love and what, what was meant to be for a lifetime. What was meant to be 
like the color in their life. Let's see what this awakening is about. The Page of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody woke up. That's why there's Nine of Pentacles here. Somebody is single. And now somebody is out looking for love all over again. Having to start all over again from scratch when they had the real deal, the real thing. Whoever this person is in this Nine of Pentacles energy, they found out this, this, this secret about this person. This person, I'm sorry, I've been trying to avoid it, but they can have um, um, those, that skin disease, um, eczema. They can have herpes. They can have um, warts. But the way her body is looking, yeah. But I feel like whoever is in this Nine of uh, Pentacles energy found that shit out. Mm -hmm. So now they want to watch you Because now maybe you've Maybe you've moved on Gemini There you are And your um What is this A buggy Motorcycle buggy Whatever More of uh, things you see in it, um, European culture European countries rather But yeah There you are Gemini I'm not sure if you moved on with somebody And you left this person single But wherever this person been They looking for you And they is watching you Okay, he got that um laddering like out in the dark. And that hermit on the move. With that damn rabbit there. Now this person wanna be single. Look how look how much that person on age though, that quick of a progression. Compared to you, Gemini. You still kinda look young. This person is aging. Hmm. Interesting how life works. Well, what's in the um, future energy for Gemini and their person, please? The hangman and the fool. That's the whole, that's crazy. I'm not sure if it, maybe it was this person energy I was picking up. Remember I was talking about those leaves on a tree and how seasons change. This person had a lot of people around them at one time. A lot. But that shit's changed because in every scene, they ain't got nobody around them. And the season has changed for this person. And now this person's just stuck in that energy. Trying to wear a mask. Don't want to be found out. But you, beloved, you're in this energy. I think this is the beginning of your life. Like, your transformation is, like, that ending was a new beginning for something. Whatever you're you're choosing to venture off to, whether it's a new relationship, a new um, city, a new country. Shit, a new um, lifestyle. I'm hearing um, somebody want to transform into, like, a lesbian or um, gay or something. Something, something is someone someone is downsizing you know how people turn into minimalist because I'm getting this feeling of whoever's in this nine of pentacles energy they realize that materialism doesn't matter it's the simple things in life and I feel like this is why this person is on the, the, the edge, you know, and it kind of took off that cloak, took off that hat, you know, took off that, that, um, or put down the book and everything else that made this person who they was or thought this was, was making them who they was. And just is finally taking the minimal things with them and want to just feel free and be happy. And maybe that includes that little dog or a little cat or something like that. But I feel like somebody is transitioning to the bare minimum of things in life. Realizing what really matters. Interesting. Alrighty. What else does uh, Gemini need to know about their person? What else? What else does Gemini need to know about their person, please? Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> the four of wands, the six of pentacles, the page of swords, and the emperor. This person will grew their ass up. Okay. Yes, they are watching you. But they've grown. Remember I said they are they've aged? Because you know in some decks the emperor has kind of white hair and stuff too. But this is where this page of wands on went through. This fire energy. This is your person, whoever your person is, that always follow you in every reading, right? Still trying to concoct a plan, but that plan is fucking poison. Don't forget where they've been at. They can try to um do this all they want to, but that's not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. But you know what's crazy is it's too late because now they see your value. Now they see your worth. Now they're like, damn. You know, I can give Gemini this, this, and that. I, I will give Gemini the world. But Gemini don't want the world. Gemini want peace and happiness. Hmm. Let's see here. What does Gemini person want them to know, please? So I'm gonna use my my um. I'm gonna make a, a second one of these too. Well, I'm gonna use my BMHP Table Atticus Love Oracle. I'm gonna um make a part two because this was my starter deck. I'm gonna really critique it and craft it. Let's see here. What does Gemini person want Gemini to know? <laughs> of course. Because now they know. It's hard when you know the truth. And you know you messed up with a person. I pick up the phone to call you. But I hang up. That's that fear. They know they wasn't right. Only a person that's done someone wrong. It's, you know, like when you, and you know you ain't did nothing to somebody. It ain't no problem to pick up the phone and call. Hey, how you doing? I was just calling, check on you, see how you was. But when you know you don't did somebody wrong or you don't fuck them over or put them in a bad situation, it's not as easy to pick up that phone and just be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You know? I can't give you all of me right now. You're damn skippy. Because you got to take care of that other part of you right now. Okay? Don't bring that shit over here to Gemini. Gemini ain't got time. Gemini do not have time. So I'm going to use my um Facts Urban Divine Masculine Truth deck. What, what else does this person want Gemini to know? Oh my goodness. Here's what person is very superficial. The way you carry yourself is so attractive to me. This is a very superficial uh, person, this fire sign. Whoever this person is in your energy. I don't know if they really see you, Gemini. I don't know if they see you how you used to be compared to how you are now. I don't know if they see you in this Nine of Pentacles energy. But one thing I don't think they see you is at the very core of your being and who you are and willing to accept you. Even in your minimalist stage. But, um, yeah. yeah. It's been away for too long, so they're getting ready to come towards you. <sighs> you and your fire sign. You bring my world, I love you. Yeah, so you the fire in this person's life, romantically. But like I said, Gemini, that's a real question you gotta ask yourself. Do this person love you or the superficiality of you? Do they love the superficial things about you or are they in love with your very inner being, your soul, your heart, who you are when you strip off, you know, um, the the rings and the chains and the um, money, the the weave, the, the eyelashes, whatever, you know, the, the highlights, the haircuts. If you were sitting there, if your face was scrub, uh, uh, what is it, scrubble, <laughs> scrubbly? whatever scruffle and your bald head wasn't shaved 
or if you just sitting there, you know, and, and your hair standing up over your head and you have on your worst day, this person still love you. But Gemini, that's the reading I have for you, beloved. Hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time, love.